Sergei Lavrov is the third foreign minister to visit Ethiopia in just few days difference. He's here in Addis for three days official visit following his U.S. and U.A.E. counterparts. After his meeting with Ethiopian authorities, Lavrov said Russia is ready to work with Ethiopia on multi-dimensional areas. We have agreed to give an additional boost to the work of the Intergovernmental Commission for the sake of implementing joint projects in a number of domains, such as energy, including nuclear energy, hydropower, biological research, direct flight connection, and many others. Ethiopia's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Warkana Gabeyo, said Russia was and will always be an important ally to his country, and history has proved Moscow's friendship to Ethiopia. Your visit is a much anticipated moment in the long journey of friendship between Ethiopia and the Russia, Russian Federation. The visit is fitting occasion to the commemoration of 120 years of Ethiopian-Russian diplomatic relationship. And then the scoop of the day. Russia has proposed to build a nuclear energy facility to Ethiopia. The facility will serve a peaceful purposes. Right now, talks are ongoing on establishing the nuclear technology center in Ethiopia on the basis of already existing Russian-designed research reactors. Sergei Lavrov has also met with African Union Commission Chair Mosa Faki Mohamed. After that meeting, there was an announcement that the African Union and Russia have agreed to collaborate on development and peace and security issues. Group Dallas CGTN, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.